And here's my favorite part of the debate, was when uh, Tim Ryan decided that we, <laughs> we needed to stay in Afghanistan. Right? Do you remember, did you, see what, did you watch the debates? Okay, so what did you think of the debates, Nellie, by the way? Did you think anything? I think it, it, democracy not only exists, but it's thriving. <laughs> Can you give a straight answer to anything? <laughs> Democracy not only exists, it's thriving, ladies and gentlemen. But, but yes, yeah, Nelly for president, that's what I say. You know when Southerners say, bless your heart, and they're actually telling you to go fuck off? That's what that, oh, bless your heart. Like that's a, democracy's thriving, it's beautiful. Okay, so, uh, so here we go, let's listen to this. Uh, leaders as disparate as President Obama and President Trump have both said that they want to end U.S. involvement in Afghanistan, but it isn't over for America. Why isn't it over? Why can't presidents of very different parties and very different temperaments get us out of there, and how could you? I appreciate that question. So I've, I've been in Congress 17 years, and 12 of those years, I've sat on the Armed Services Committee, either the Defense Appropriations Committee or the Armed Services Committee. So I've gotten a good look at this bullshit, and uh, I'm okay with it. And the lesson that I've learned over the years is that you have to stay engaged in these situations. Nobody likes it. It's long. It's tedious. But right now we have, so I would say, we must be engaged in this. We must have our State Department engaged. We must have our military engaged. To this. Hey, is Afghanistan your fucking fiance? What is the matter with you? It, to the extent they need to be. But the reality of it is, this president doesn't even have people appointed in the State Department to deal with these things. Whether we're talking about Central America, whether we're talking about Iran, whether we're talking about Afghanistan, we've got to be completely engaged. And here's why. Because these flare-ups distract us from the real problems in the country. If we're if getting a drone shot down for $130 million because the president is distracted, that's $130 million that we could be spending in places like Youngstown, Ohio, or Flint, Michigan, or, re I'm or gonna, rebuilding, Congresswoman or Gellard, rebuilding. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, actually, to jump off what he said. He <laughs> was and what you will tell the parents of those two soldiers who were just killed in Afghanistan, well, we just have to be engaged. As a soldier, I will tell you, that answer is unacceptable. Good thing Tim's, Tim Ryan's got good health care because he's going to need it to take that burn away. <laughs> is there an oven in that room? Because he just got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> to bring our troops home from Afghanistan. We are in a place in Afghanistan where we have lost so many lives. We've spent so much money, money that's coming out of every one of our pockets, money that should be going into communities here at home, meeting the needs of the people here at home. We are no better off in Afghanistan today than we were when this war began. This is why it's so important to have a president and commander in chief who knows the cost of war and who's ready to do the job on day one. I am ready to do that job when I walk into the Oval Office. Thank you very much. Tall C, tall C, tall C, tall C, tall C, tall C, oh! I hope Tim Ryan's for free college because he just got school free of charge. All right, he's a little bored of this, I think. Down the line, I'm going to go down the line here. Well, you know what? You felt you felt like she was responding. You get 30 I'm seconds. Very go. Good man. Fair I enough. Appreciate that. I hear what you're saying. I would just say I don't want to be. I don't want to be engaged. I wish we were spending all this money. In to do that thing I just said. <laughs> is that I've represented that have been completely forgotten and we were rebuilding. But the reality of it is if the United States isn't engaged, the Taliban will grow and they will 
have bigger, bolder terrorist acts. We have got to have some present there. As, the as, the as Taliban Congress was Iraq. there long before we came in. They yeah, and they were long yeah, before we exactly. came in. Well, we they were, to keep US and they were deployed to Afghanistan thinking that we're going to somehow squash this Taliban I that has say, been there. That I didn't every say other squash them. I didn't say squash them. When we weren't in there, they started flying planes into our buildings. So I'm just saying right now, the we Taliban have. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Mrs. Gabbard, your platter. <laughs> they didn't attack us on 9-11. Al-Qaeda did. Well, I understand. Al-Qaeda attacked us on 9-11. I understand. That's why I and so I many other people joined the military, to go I after Al-Qaeda, not the Taliban. The Taliban. Bam. <laughs> you know, after that exchange, they had to disable the smoke alarms in that room. This guy is just like fumbling through some policy from 2003. It's like the Taliban did 9/11. You dumb motherfucker! That was the Mujahideen that we we fought. We financed them in the 80s in the war against the Russians. It's unbelievable. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. That's why the beginning of the video, if you went back and just as they zoomed in on him, what he's thinking is, please don't call on me. Please don't call on me. Please don't call on me. Don't call on me. Oh. So here's what, and so Tim Ryan's big comeback, he put out a statement. <laughs> he, got, he was so humiliated by the facts. So yeah, exactly what you're saying, Graham, is that that's how they just think he's inside of a bubble, he's in Washington, D.C., and to say things like, when you go on CNN with, with Blitzer and you say, we have to stay engaged, that sounds meaty and it, make, it, make, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And Tulsi Gabbard was able to destroy it effortlessly because it's bullshit. It's just like, we have to keep fucking bombing people all over the world. That's what he means by engaged. That's what he means. Oh, I, hey, let's go, uh, Fourth of July, you wanna go watch the engagement ceremonies? <laughs> That's what he means by engaged. So he put this segment out, and look at the, the, last, the last sentence. It's the last sentence says, we refuse to be lectured by someone who thinks it's okay to dine with murderous dictators like Sirius Bashar al-Assad, who used to... It's fucking unbelievable. When somebody completely schools you, you should have your staff write a letter smearing that person so you can hide behind it. That's courage. What did you think of that? What did you think of that, Nelly? Anything? Oh, oh, uh, uh, I, I don't know if we should be in Afghanistan. <laughs> you don't know? You're not sure? I don't know, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do think, you know, 9-11 was a response to us fucking the world over for decades yeah. previous. Yeah. It, and it was funded by Saudi Arabia. It wasn't funded by the Taliban. Yeah. And of course, Tim Ryan will never say that because, uh, you know, he's engaged with the Saudi Arabias in a fucking different way. <laughs> here's money and here's his... <laughs> hey, we just added St. Louis and Honolulu to our live tour schedule. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. We might be coming to your town Go check right now at jimmydorecomedy.com. And if you like the show and want to support it, become a premium member. You can become a patron or through PayPal or go right to jimmydorecomedy.com and become a premium member. That's the best way. We'll see you at a live show.